But let's set the scene. You're in your favourite thinking space, and a brilliant idea for an online course pops into your mind. You don't delay in creating your course in this untapped market. And then when it is released, it's all quiet. You don't know how your course may fare, so you don't know whether to browse for Teslas or go looking for another job in your profession. Well, that's where I come in. Hi everyone, I'm Matthew, and in this video I'd like to take you through the revenue that my online courses have made in the last three or so years. So more specifically, how much goes to the instructor, so not just the sale price, because that doesn't all go to the instructor, but how much does the instructor get? Now, I've got four online courses on a brilliant platform called Udemy. And Udemy is a uh, is probably one of the largest online course uh, platforms there is uh, now. Um, they have 130,000 instructors and some of these courses have over 1 million students. So some of these courses are really phenomenal in the amount of profit that some of these instructors have made. Our courses, so what I say ours, because these courses were created by both myself and my good friend Morgan. And these are focused largely around engineering. So we've got some introduction to thermodynamics and mechanics and statics, which is some core engineering topics and also some CAD software and manufacturing as well. Diving straight in, you can see that these courses combined have made around 10,000 US dollars in total. So it's way off of what some of the other fantastic, you know, big courses have made. But this is engineering, so it's probably quite a load audience on Udemy. Actually, this is kind of like a niche subject. And what I think is quite nice to see is that even though it's niche and has very, probably a very small audience, it's still somewhat profitable, especially if you consider you could have a lot of these courses. Let's have a look at how Statics is done. And that's done nearly about half of that revenue, so roughly around the 5,000 US dollars mark, which is really good, I think, considering how such a small audience, you know, would be probably wanting to use this. And then next up, we've got the thermodynamics, which is around three and a half thousand US dollars. And the rest is made up by the prototyping course and the Onshape CAD software course as well. Something to bear in mind is that the statics and thermodynamics have had about a two year head start on the other two. So it's no wonder that over time, they've just naturally become the bigger proportions of the overall revenue from these online courses. Even though there are a lot of high demand courses, a lot of students enrolled, say programming, and Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator and, and all those sorts of things. Hopefully you can see that there is some potential in niche courses as well. So in our case, engineering. So something to bear in mind as well with niche courses is that you may actually be able to rank better. So you may be able to come in the top one, two or three spots on the first search page. In the high demand courses with lots of students and lots of courses, you may not even get onto the eighth page or something. So you may never get any money coming in, even though there's a lot of demand for it. Also, I think what's really helpful to see is a breakdown over time. On the screen now is a month by month chart from August 17 up to the end of 2020. But what I think is more useful is a quarter by quarter chart. So I just put the month by month up there just so that if you're interested, you can have a look. But this quarter by quarter chart now, uh, I think is a lot more useful and that shows some stability, it shows some growth as well, which is really promising and comforting to see that they may actually have some longevity to them. So you can see that we've got a nice stable baseline of around $600 per quarter. And yes, this might not seem much, but it's a starting point. It's potentially something you as a new instructor of a new online course might be able to expect in the near future, rather than some of these other YouTube videos that you see where people are bringing in thousands of dollars per month. This is potentially something more realistic to be working to in the beginning. So you can also see in quarter one and quarter three, both in 2019 and 2020, there are some peaks as well. So they're the better quarters in, in both of those years. And you can see quarter one 2020 was really impressive for us because it nearly doubled the baseline of up to nearly $1,200. The next thing which I think is really useful to show is the breakdown of traffic. And it's best to understand that Udemy breaks down into probably four main categories. And that the first one is Udemy Organic, the next one is Ad Program, Affiliates, and then you've got Instructor Promotions too. So what you can see from our chart is that 
the Udemy Organic is the largest proportion of our revenue, which is good. We'll get a 50% share of whatever comes to Udemy after store fees or, or tax and that sort of thing. You've then also got the ad program, which is the next biggest slice of the pie, uh, which is a roughly 25% amount of our revenue. And that's where you get money coming in uh, or traffic coming in through uh, ad programs that Udemy runs, so digital marketing, digital advertising, and that sort of thing. And then you've also got the affiliate marketing, which is another small share, uh, most of the rest, um, and that's through third-party links, affiliates, obviously, and, uh, and other sellers that uh, Udemy works with. We also have a very small slice of instructor promotional codes, and this is really quite a good point to make, is that all, all of this, or pretty much all of it, all the traffic and revenue that we've created, so Morgan and I, has mostly come without us pushing for it. We've not tried to, we've not had an audience to actually push to these courses to actually generate some revenue. So it's mostly just, if you like organic, we, we haven't forced the issue, it's just come naturally. So I know that the ad program is not natural, but we haven't had to do anything towards driving traffic. It's all done on the other end, so Udemy. Probably some key takeaways from this is that niche courses are possible and there is some potential in using niche courses. You, you could do something there. So just because all the big things have done, don't think that there's no, no room for actually creating new courses. But also note that a lot of this, we haven't had to drive traffic to it. So even if you don't have a platform to funnel into these courses you could still make money and i think this this shows it quite well hopefully that's provided a lot of good insight for you if you're a prospective instructor and i wish you the best of success if that's if that's what you're going to pursue thank you and i'll see you in the next video